Hello everybody, my name is Jesse. This is the auditorium. I react to video game music as a musician. Myself today is a series of Christmas requests and by that I mean big, big requests I've gotten in Patreon, PayPal, and the YouTube comment section. This by far is my biggest YouTube comment request uh, ever. Besides maybe Dancing Mad from FF6. This is Sonic Adventure 2 Live and Learn. Uh, this is also requested by Metal641 and Richard and about a thousand other people. Uh, ever since I did, ever since I got into Sonic on this channel, I've been loving it. It's been such a good time uh, getting into Crush 40 and all that. And then I did Open Your Heart and then the floodgates just live and learn, live and learn. It's just like, oh, you opened your heart. Now you have to live and learn, you know, all this crazy, dumb comments. But anyways, <laughs> this is, uh, this, you know, by the way, I saw two links for this. One has 2 million views, this one, by Deoxys Prime. And the other one has 15 million views. This song is a big deal, dude. And I'm kind of scared, because... What if it sucks? <laughs> this is Live and Learn from Sonic Adventure 2. Happy Holidays. It does not suck. <laughs> <laughs> it's such a good time with Crush 40. It sounds like I'm at a party. <laughs> oh, it's one of those songs. <laughs> They're going to keep repeating the song name. <laughs> I can see you all singing right now. This is one of those songs. Everyone's just singing along. Yeah! <laughs> It's so cheesy, but it's so good at the same time. It's so vocal heavy. All right, take it away. Microphone's in your hand. I feel like it's one of those songs where I feel like I've known in my whole life, but I haven't. Guitar solo? This is so lame in the coolest way. <laughs> Does that make sense? It's so cheesy. But it's sick. It's awesome. But it has so many formulas of just like tropes and stereotypes. One more for good measure. 
I don't know what the other lyrics are. <laughs> Oh, we have an extended chorus here with the lead. You know, it just felt like I came out of like a Dave and Buster's, or it just felt like I came out of like an arcade. Remember arcades? Like an actual arcade with cabinets and, you know, the tickets and the whack-a-mole and all that shit. Yeah, it just, it just, to me, it sounded like, to me, it felt like I was like at a 90s mall. <laughs> the, the scene from Terminator comes to mind where, uh... John is at the arcade and the cops looking for him at the beginning. That's the kind of vibe I get when it comes to this type of Sonic. I haven't heard much Crush 40, but I'm, I'm seeing this pattern of it's just this really like over the top kind of 90s sounding like cheesy like butt rock for, for lack of a better word. Don't get me wrong. It's sick. It's badass actually. It's actually really super dope. But um but you know what I mean. It's just like, it's a good time. It's just like, put it on with the boys, you know, crack open a cold one, whatever, and listen to Live and Learn type of thing. Like, I'd imagine across the globe, if uh, people have like, you know, get togethers uh, for VGM or something, if that's not a thing, make it a thing. Uh, this is definitely one of those that go up there. It's like the, it's like, it seems like it's like the karaoke king of VGM or something. Which brings me to my next point. The 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 strong suit of this song is clearly the vocals. I'm not saying that the the music was like bad or anything, but it was so and excuse my like lack of a better word here, but basic. It was just I mean what I mean by that is like the chords were so like very simple power chords with some palm muting. The drums were just doing a very simple fill. This has nothing to do with like a skill or anything. The song delivered and it did what it had to do. But what carried the whole song, let me put it another way. If I just heard the song as an instrumental, that would be devastating because it would just be a good, like hard rock song, that's it. But the vocals clearly just, just take it to a different like stratosphere. It's so over the top. Uh, his vocals are amazing. He's got great range, great uh, vibrato, and holds it steady pretty well. Sustain is really good. Uh, the the um, the harmony notes he does with himself are really good. I like when he does that more kind of warped sound too. I feel like Sonic Adventure is responsible for a lot of kids that a got a guitar and b got into more games like Metal Gear Rising. Or even stuff like Guilty Gear Strive. If you've never heard, if you're a Sonic fan, if you like this song and you've never heard of Metal Gear Rising, as soon as this video is over, go listen to The Stains of Time. Or go listen to anything from Guilty Gear Strive or any Guilty Gear. And you might just be happy. <laughs> um, because it's that kind of same ordeal. Oh, man, okay, so... I don't know anything about um, this game. From what I'm told, and I didn't look into it, it could be the main theme, which falls in line with Open Your Heart. They kind of have that same, they sound like brothers. They sound like, they sound almost identical as far as like the message is giving off. I don't know what the lyrics are in both of them, but you know, it just has that feeling. And I'm pretty sure that's from Sonic Adventure 1. So it seems like it's, like I said, like they're pretty in tandem. This screamed to me like 90s, 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 like TV shows. I kept thinking of the Power Rangers theme song. It had that same vocal style. Go, go, Power Rangers. Rest in peace, Green Ranger Tommy. But um, man, yeah, it, it's just, it's so unbelievably catchy that it's, that it's stupid. Like it's, I could tell 
within the first like 10 seconds, I'm like, I can just see the viewer of this video just like singing the words and rocking out hella hard. Like this is one of those where you know every single lyric from start to finish. And I can see it. I can see it. It's just, it's just one of those. It's extremely catchy. You know, Sonic does that very well. I think Sonic doesn't take itself too seriously. It can definitely put out bangers, like like serious ones. And then it could also do like the kind of more mass appeal, anyone can get into type of thing. And that's one of, this is one of them. So yeah, there's really not like a whole lot going on long in the song. It's just, it's just very basic like rock song but it's just the energy it brings and the sound the guitar is really crunchy like the distortion is really high up the gain is really cranked the drums are really like you know they got a lot of punchy treble sound so it's all about like being in your face and just kind of like ah you know take it to sonic sonic adventure 2 ah, you know it just has that like raging speed right obviously speed which is so funny because when I first imagined Sonic music to sound like, I didn't think it would sound this slow. I know it's crazy to think slow, but I mean, it, it's in the metal world, this is kind of like slower. I always figured it'd be like a lot, a lot crazier. But then again, this is a product of its time. And I don't know when this was. I'm guessing somewhere between 1995 and 2005, somewhere in that decade. So it kind of fits. But uh, it delivers, man. It's just like, you can't really like hate on stuff like this. This is really cool. And to be honest, I feel like I enjoyed it more because I know everyone else is enjoying it. Um, like what I'm saying is like, is it like the best song in the world? No, uh, obviously that's just my opinion. To you, it might be, and that's great. And that's awesome. But to me, it's, it's just, a, it's just like a, a song that's just really hype as hell, uh, but it works. Um, and I've noticed that, like, for example, Sonic Boom, the song, I loved that song. And it's essentially the same thing. You know, it's this super catchy thing, and it's super cheesy, but it's super cool. And then there was another one that I, I really love this song. It's called Fairy of AIF, Aurora Icefields. Uh, I did that video too, and I, I, that's like one of the most under-the-radar Sonic songs that no one's even heard. No one's even seen that video. And it's like, like my best favorite one. So like Sonic has this huge, I'll tell you what, if all of Sonic sounded like this, I would be bored quick. And this is coming from a guitar player, metalhead, whatever you want to call me. Like, I'm glad that the, the variety is so huge for so many people. I grew up when it was Green Hill Zone and Marble Zone and, you know, those kind of like MIDI sounds. So I've heard all these other things and now there's a new one, there's Frontiers, which everyone keeps requesting now. So like, I can't believe like Sonic has been around pretty much as long as I've been alive. I'm ancient. So it's just really nice to see like all the, you know, and that's, that's the reason why the music has evolved because the generations have evolved. You know, it's really great if you grew up with the first games and still play it now and still like the music now. But you know, they have to adapt to different times, you know, different generations, they got to sound different. So I'm sure the new Sonic sounds different than this. I haven't heard it. But I'm, well, I, I've heard, I heard, let me rephrase that. I've heard like maybe 30 seconds of Frontiers. I don't know what song it was. It was just on a, on a stream playing in the background and I wasn't paying attention to it. So I can't really tell you what that sounded like, but I can tell you that I'm pretty safe assumption that it doesn't sound anything like this Crush 40 thing or even the first game. That's just my opinion. Anyways, Sonic Rules, live and learn. <laughs> uh... I wonder if there's any other songs like this, like in this um, style of open your heart and live and learn. Crush 40 is awesome. <laughs> Don't think anything I said was was bad. It's just just a generic song that's really, really hype. That's all it is. But uh, don't flame me for that. But uh, if, if I were to compare between open your heart, I think they're the same. I think they're the same. And I love to open your heart. So just think, just take it that way. I think it's really cool. It's a ripping good time. It's something you, listen to with uh, the boys or the girls <laughs> just, and just have a good time it's a karaoke banger for sure and that's it that's uh it's been a long day i've been recording since it was daylight and now it's nighttime and i've my ears are worn out but it's nice to uh finally hear something that's been requested for a very long time and hopefully 
you enjoyed it <laughs> seeing someone check it out for the first time in their life so thank you sonic community and thank you to everyone else uh, if you want to make a request to me as well oh uh, by the way all the uh stuff that happened in the song uh, all the musical terms I talked about, like palm muting power chords, all these other things, those can be found in my, my Discord. I have a little section called musical terms, and I kind of just break them down like in a very simple to understand way. Cheap plug. But uh, yeah, if you want to make a request to me as well, you can do so on Patreon or PayPal. Either are totally fine if you don't mind waiting. Uh, the wait list is gigantic, so just a heads up. If you do not want to wait, there is the platinum tier on Patreon, which I provide, and that skips the line. Big thank you to my current supporters of that Kevin, Patrick, Shadow Maxim, Vanadel, Turn Arclight, Kalanin, and Gardelaine. Thank you all so much. And thank you for uh, checking out these Christmas videos with me. Until next time, dudes and dudettes, happy holidays. I will see you around. Peace.